uh monster hunter world xeno percent any percent the one where we go and fight the big blue baby in three two one go so yeah we're not we're not going for world records y'all keep saying world record i'm like four minutes off of world record uh we're going for a pb 228 is my goal now and we'll go for 227 then we'll go for 226 we'll keep it realistic I don't know how much I, I but you know, I, I got a bunch of time savings to play cleanly. Like, I have to play well. And that's the part that I struggle with. <laughs> brain ain't braining. Scary thought uh, I'll be 35 when Wild comes out. Nah, that's, that's not real. That's not real. I go for universe record. You're right. Uh, Cyclone, thank you so much for that. Bless. Uh, world record is 225. Unofficially. Uh, excuse me, 226. Uh, but green's still pushing for PBs, so the thing that we always ask uh, on the leaderboards is that if you are still trying to PB, if you're still trying to improve your run, to not submit. Um, because it just clutters up, and it's kind of like a rude thing to do. Um, but afterwards, you submit your runs after because they become obsolete, so they just are auto-verified. Um, so you have a, um, a compendium of, like, your personal best and your improvement. Oh, I, I'll, I'll be doing, Lucy. I'm a do. Yeah. So it's just to keep the boards, like, cleaner... Uh, let like keep the verifiers runs like less cluttered because like there's nothing more annoying than verifying a two hour two hour plus long speed run only to have to do it again because you like the person pb'd a week later so like if you're still pushing for pbs don't submit speed runs it's just like the appropriate thing to do One of these weekends, too. One of these days. I'm going to go through and verify everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Ender. And uh, the nice thing, too, about speedrun.com is that you can put in runs and date them. And so it'll still, it'll still show your PB history in the correct order, even though you submitted them out of order. Um, which is really, really nice. And then also, um, LiveSplit keeps a detailed list of all of your speed runs, and then you can put that onto the run.gg um, and kind of like see all of the graphics and stuff like that too. Uh, exclamation splits, I, I think it's still still set up. Because then like you can look on there right now and see this run and like where I have time saves and like all, all that stuff. Um, I mean, like, at that point, Kyo, like, yeah, like, you, you could submit, but my whole thing is that, like, um, I, I would say, like, yeah, after a month, like, if you're still pushing after a month, um, then, like, I think it's okay, uh, you know, to, to submit. Um, it, like, it, it's not a hard rule, right? It's more of just, like, a courtesy to the, the leaderboard verifiers. Not necessarily like a rule. Like if someone does it, it's not gonna be like banned or like anything like that. Like no, it's just it's just a courtesy thing. Um, and like I've absolutely had it before where like I start verifying someone's run and they will message me like, "Oh hey, I got a PB last night." I'll be like, "All right, sick," and then I just like don't finish it and I wait for the new one. But world is such like a like a like all the the monster hunter leaderboards are kind of like slow, right? So it's not like. It's a insanely, um, it's not like it's, it's like super busy or anything like that, but, um, to my understanding, Lucy, I was the first to do it in one, uh, in one unsegmented sitting. Um, but some people, uh, on the YouTube side, like in the YouTube comments, uh, did point out another, uh, streamer who did do a segmented Fatalis percent, so they broke it up into two uh, parts, and it took them like 18 hours. Uh, 13 or 18, it was one of those. 
but I am more or less the first person to do it in an uh, unsegmented RTA viable setting. You have like, you have 133 hog and a frog runs. That seems like a lot. Wait, is there really? Oh no, oh, I do. Yes, yeah, a lot of resets. Yeah, go get Brecky Johnny and bring me some, please and thank you. I had a leftover Publix chicken tender sub for Brecky. 507, do we go for hog and a frog instead? <laughs> We're getting breakfast? <laughs> Sweet. Carol, bring me back breakfast. I could really go for a latte right now. I was going to break out the espresso machine this morning, but my kitchen's a mess, and I was just like, this is too much effort. Too much effort, too much work. Come over after lunch? Oh, after run? I don't know if I'll get there today. Only I can make it swing. Yo, Togi! Everyone come on the Togi True Raid. My name is Jao Bagel. I spear a Monster Hunter game. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Togi, thank you so much for the raid! Oh my goodness, we're doing a Xeno Percent speedrun. We just started. Guys, go get, go check out Togi. Togi's also a Monster Hunter variety streamer, uh, very cool VTuber, and just all around great human being. So go and hang out. You need to go follow Togi, like right now. Do it. Gun. Gun emoji. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome in for the raid. If I didn't see you, I, was, I say hi now. Hi, Jetpack. Yeah, welcome on in, everybody. Already followed. Good. I will be checking everyone's account later today to make sure that you all followed. It's a very, um, this is a very uncharacteristic Sunday morning stream for me because my schedule has been messed up, like, all week. Uh, w Chan, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. Togi, what were you doing on stream today? Coping with world, like the rest of us? Oh. Smile. <laughs> we're all going to be sitting here coping with world and rise until 2025. <laughs> Yeah, for anyone that's also like trying to avoid conversations about wilds, uh, Monster Hunter wilds, I, I am unapologetically talking about it. Hunts and Gen Yu, hell yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be starting up three U again uh, to help me cope. <laughs> no, all right, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm early today because um, I didn't stream yesterday because I may or may not have been a little hungover. Uh, and by a little, I mean a lot. Dude, I, get, I got home Friday night um, at 5 o'clock in the morning. I woke up at noon and was still, I think, a little drunk. So. Need to finish three at some point. Got to like Eye Cruise, uh, and then I stopped for some reason. I got to like uh, Village Sedeus and then stopped myself. So that's why I kind of want to go through it again. I didn't really give the game uh, a fair chance because it was also my first Monster Hunter game, and I did not really enjoy it. Yeah, spelling correctly is uh, overrated. Live your best life, and if that includes misspelling things. Who am I to tell you you're wrong? Uh, since next year they'll have a huge anniversary for Monster Hunter, I would love um, if they port all the other games to current generation. That'd be insane. That'd be wild. I, I couldn't. I, I'm like, I want that to happen. I just like, I doubt it will. So I'm, I'm putting, like, literally zero stock into it, but it would be cool. Um, they all emulate, like, really well, uh, Lucy. So, like, if you do want to play them, you can emulate them. Uh, I just would avoid emulating, like, in streaming right now or emulating and making content right now. Um, but... 
would I speedrun the older games? If I got to a level of comfort with them, like, yes. That was, like, the biggest reason why I started speedrunning World is because I just got to a point where it was, like, this game was secondhand nature to me. And, like, Rise got to that point, too. Um, yeah, I would. It just takes, like, a lot of time and effort to, like, do that stuff. Uh, so I had to, like, really make the time. Why did you go all the way over here? Um, but yeah, I would I would like to. Um, and there's uh, some Japanese runners that speed run the older games too, and so there's kind of like a revival for it right now. Um, but I I do personally just like the newer gen stuff because it's a lot faster, right? And um, you know, time is not something that I have like a bunch of. And, uh, you know, making that kind of an investment is it's, it's just, like, really hard for me right now. Hopefully, though, I have more time in the future and I could do something like that. Because I would like to. I would like to learn other speedruns. Um, and other games. Even not just... Like, uh, even outside of Monster Hunter, you know? Like, I've always wanted to learn, um... A Pokemon speedrun. Armored Core. Others. I've watched Wild Trail. What's your opinion so far? I have. <laughs> I know it's not a lot to say, but still, oh, we we can come up with a bunch. Um, no, I'm I'm very excited about it. Uh, it looks amazing. Um, extra Mandagora, so we'll grab the extra blue shrooms. Yeah, time time's always a limiting factor. Uh, but no, Wilds like looks awesome, and the this is gonna sound like really weird. I didn't recognize that it was a Monster Hunter game from the get go. I thought it was like Assassin's Creed or some shit, right? Like I was like, oh, what, uh, what is this? Like, this is nothing. Um, I didn't recognize it as Monster Hunter. And then I got jump scared by the Capcom Presents. And I was like, holy shit, it actually is. Because, like, I was... I had, I had, like... uh, I had, like, literally just, like, given up on the idea that, like, we're going to get a Monster Hunter announcement at that point. Like, I was just, like, coping for, the, for like, the jokes, right? And, uh, and then... Capcom Presents, I was like, holy shit, it's... It, it like, actually is. Like, let's go. And so, like, the idea that it did not remind me uh about monster hunter at all excites the shit out of me <laughs> the only um, only unfortunate thing about it is the release date now nah, let them cook dude let them cook take their time even if it got like pushed back to 2026 this is my thing too this is my thing too i get another year with world i still have a lot of speedrun goals that i try to reach and it takes me a lot of time to do it because i don't really have that much time to like invest into this game, which seems really weird because I, I speedrun it like three to four days a week, you know? But I still have a lot of th things that I want to do in this game, and that's giving me the time to do it, which includes submitting World to SGDQ 2024 um, because that's going to be the next main stage GDQ platform, and I think World has an absolute amazing chance this time, uh, especially after um, the uh, hotfix shows that I've been doing. Uh, I think World now has a chance. And it gives me, like, it, uh, the game coming out in 2025 gives me the ability to, like, prepare for that. I will not do Fatalis Percent. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even ask. I wouldn't even ask to do Shara Percent. I'll do Shara Percent at, like, really, really long -athon, but nowhere else. Yeah, exactly, Abyss. I'd rather have them, like, have the time to polish up the game. But this is the thing that scares me. It's a year out, which makes me think that the game isn't finished yet, which means they're still trying to put it together. I don't want game announcements until the game is done, personally. Right? Oh, yeah, it works amazing on the Steam Deck. The only thing that I can't figure out is why my mods aren't working. I was trying to put Cutscene Skip mod on the Steam Deck, and I just couldn't figure it out. Like, it just wasn't working.
Says that they're uh, cooking up something we've never seen in Monster Hunter. Yeah. Is that because World has an amazing atmosphere? Yeah. No, it, and, and you can really see it in that game, too. Because, like, even just in the trailer, we had, like, endemic life running around or the feet of, the of like, the herd monsters. And we had, um, like, birds standing on them and interacting with the environment. Like, everything felt very uh, alive, like World does. Bimston! Thank you so much for the 39 months. Oh, my gosh. Good news, bad news. I just farted. Wait, hold on. Was that the good news and the bad news? Yeah, and that was something, too, that I liked about World, is that this game makes you feel little, right? Like, it makes you feel small. No! Oh my gosh, I got, like, the worst position for this. Alright, it still wasn't bad. The thing about um, Slinger and Clutch Claw were uh, mandatory Tylathon, it was tenderizing that was, right? Um, tenderizing was the mandatory mechanic. And so as long as they, like, just don't introduce, like, don't include tenderizing, because I love the Clutch Claw, like, I really do. I just do not like tenderizing. So, we'll see if, they, uh, if they're smart about it. Ooh, good, good materials there. All right. We are good for early game. Good. It not being announced for Switch is also really good. Um Yeah, I don't know. That's like that's like a that's like a like a backhanded compliment, right? Cuz like Rise on the Switch plays amazingly, but I I understand what you're saying cuz you want the aesthetic and the feel of world, but it does exclude an entire player base from like playing. Uh yes, I will play Dragon's uh, Dragon's Dogma too. Yep, I have already put in a key request for the game. Uh, I will be playing it on stream. So if you guys are interested in Dragon's Dogma 2, I will be playing it when it comes out, uh, which is in March, I think. Uh, so I will absolutely be playing it. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it because I tried to play the first one and just couldn't really get into it. So I really want to try to play the second one. So, yeah, so if you guys have any interest in Dragon's Dogma 2, I will be playing it. And you will be able to purchase it through my Nexus store, uh, which uh, will go into directly supporting me at no additional cost to you. If you guys ever want to buy Capcom games, just go to the Nexus store first. Oh, speaking of which, World is like $9 right now. And World with Iceborne is 19 So, like, buy Monster Hunter. Play Monster Hunter. Uh, that's fair, Brim. Absolutely fair. And, like, the way that I'm going to be playing it is, like, if there is something that they introduce, I am doing it. Rise is great because it runs on my laptop. Amen. Rise also plays really well in the Steam Deck. Like, I exclusively play Rise in the Steam Deck, and it, I have a blast with it. Buy and play Monster Hunter World. Robin Gun. Uh, that's, that's fair, Brim. Then hunt with me, please. Please and thank you.
Dude, I almost left too early there, too. Almost left too early. He underscores my maiden name. Oh, uh, Brim, are you gonna play Windblown with me? Are you gonna play that? I really want to play it. That was the the uh, roguelike by the Dead Cells people. That had the amazing art style and also cut things in half. The underscore is my middle name. <laughs> Dead Cells devs are top tier? Yeah, they really are. Feels good. Yeah, that was also a really good radial setup. Like, that's done, so... Don't have to worry about that now. Supported uh, Dead Cells for, like, six years after the fact. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm excited about. I love roguelikes that just get, like, continued... Uh, updates too. Still really looking forward to Hades, uh, Hades 2 though. Do we don't have a date for Hades 2 yet, do we? <laughs> Plus, yeah, but they never updated his hitbox for modern gen. Good, good. No, not yet. Ah, damn. That's what I want. I want bisexuals too. <laughs> Is that Pokemon Veroth with the random mod? Yeah, with the randomizer. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? It's always good. Always a good time. Yeah, after we get our PB, I think I'm gonna do randomizers and uh, sharp percents again. I need to figure out. I I'm probably gonna be doing a new, like, fresh install of World soon. Um, on the new M.2.
Um, so I'm going to be trying to fix... I don't know why it never works for me. Uh, but I'm going to be trying to fix the... Um, the randomizer mod because it doesn't work in master rank for some reason so I hear crakes Rip run, I know. They're only good luck for green. It was a good it was a good try, guys. We had green numbers, but Crakes are here. Oh shit, I never fixed my splits. Uh I'll have to fuck. Okay, I'll just deal. But I did never fix my splits. I needed to uh, move my splits around because we do Rathalos before Diablos now. And I just, like, never fix that. Uh-oh. All right, well, with any luck, the run dies before then. And then if it doesn't, then um, I'll figure it out later. Well, Green's gotten Mercer Skip in his new PB, so he's fine now. It was the 227 that he missed it, but he got a 226 now. So we can't we can't uh, hound on him for Mercer Skip anymore. <laughs> but what if? Okay. Could have been faster? No, it actually couldn't. It, it would have been much slower. I think that's how losing time works. Sex update? Wait, they're putting sex into Cult of the Lamb? What? Oh. It's a meme. Oh, got it. Okay. Thins of the flesh. Oh. Oh, no. I mean, so you're telling me there's a chance. Yo, Victor, thank you for good luck. It sounds like you're saying there's a chance. Uh, I don't need that. Yo, Cargo, thank you for that, Bless. Massive Monster really said they're going to give the phrase everything they wanted. <laughs> how, how much do I hate it on a scale from World to G Rank 3U? Uh, probably like... Probably like 4U, Ergan. He was in 4U, wasn't he? I feel like he was. I don't like Uragan. And I especially don't like it in older gens. I 
I mean, to be fair, Urgain is fine when you realize you're just going to play the game very slowly. But you can mine on his back. You're right. Honestly, 10 out of 10 monster. But what's better, mining on Urgain's back or catching bugs on uh, Zenogre's back? Debate. Oni's a Zenogre stand. Please keep that in mind. If 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 any option is blank or Zenogre, he picks Zenogre. The options could be Zenogre and Zenogre, and he would find out a way to choose both. Yeah, when can we fish off of something's back? That's the true end game. Oh, Durambaros, my beloved. Well, it was, a, it was like a tail break, wasn't it? Like Durambaros's. Uh oh. Get a gray number. It's all over. Getting a lot of gray numbers. Uh oh. I have fucked up. All right, good. Well, oh my gosh. Never punished? Never punished? Seconds, whoops. Oh, yeah, Nibble Snarf. That was a good time. Yeah, you used a fishing rod to get Nibble Snarf out of the ground. You can roast his steak on it. That'd be sick, actually. For Breezed! Give him 100. Them hundred biddies. Very kind, very generous of you. I appreciate it. Mafesto, uh, Narjarala, and Gameth. You just want to play Gen Yu again? Like they have a game. They have that game already. <laughs> Let me do Bomb Mancy in uh, in Monster Hunter Wilds, please. I want to drop. Yeah, I, I want to do the same thing. I want to feed Nibble Snarf bombs. Zenogre confirmed. All right, but like Zenogre is is gonna be in the game. There's no way he doesn't make it.
All right, cool. We made it all back. Very good. Very good, Jarrodotus. Yo, Dan. Hope you're doing well. I wonder if Capcom saw my team by coming up with better game names. Probably not. They don't look at Twitter. Dude, so close to sub two. So close to sub two. Huh? Capture it. Yeah. Listen, they don't think about their abbreviations. We do. I'm still just going to call it Monster Hunter Wilds. Like, it's it's four more letters. It's okay. MHW is Monster Hunter World. MH Wilds is Monster Hunter Wilds. Oh yeah, the provisions lady who has the the French accent. I love her. Best girl. Imagine the handler comes back though. Okay. Yeah, I'd welcome it. I like the handler. <laughs> I don't know if this. I don't think this was close enough. Yo, Mountain Mike. Spring Lake, thank you so much for the 18 months. Alright, now we just get our 40 second time save on Hinge and Hack. Now we just save 40 seconds here, please. Thank you for that hundred biddies again. Fabrized, I appreciate you. Fabrized is single handedly feeding me. <laughs> and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Because I eat the bits, like, if that wasn't clear. I just, I just eat them. Oh, yeah, no, Larian killed it at... I killed it with Baldur's Gate 3, killed it with the, the Game Awards. Catcrunchingfood.gif. <laughs> Like, talk about a missed opportunity for Twitch to, like, make a candy that were just called Bits, and they were in the shape of Bits. Like, that'd be great. Uh -huh. 
No, I missed it by one! That sucks. We'll keep this one going. I got an early head break there and I'm not really certain why. Um, so it messed up my, uh, my gauge reset. So I didn't save the whole 40. I only saved the 17 and I'm going to need the extra, um, uh, spider web at Radovan. No, that wasn't generous. That was bad. That's like that's like not great, honestly. Um, because I I could have saved another thirty seconds there and didn't get it. Um, like it's it's enough to keep a run going, but it's not the time save that I want coming out of here. Which is unfortunate, but we'll keep this one going. I'm trying to do no reset uh this first run and then and then maybe we'll like try to optimize the next couple i'm just like i'm trying not to reset to like stuff that isn't in insanely egregious like i'm only gonna reset to a minute time loss at this point i don't i don't need any specific time saves right now i just want them um really the thing that's gonna benefit the best is um just like having i just need, i i just need clean stuff all the way through so like really have a good time here but i have a lot of small time saves throughout the entire game um and then i just have to have clean elder dragons and then good elder tracks like good elder tracks is also just like a minute time save for me But like that, um, that Anjanath, I could have saved 43 seconds on and I saved 17. Um, and that's just because of like RNG. I don't really know what happened to that, that last rock. Yo, Foozles, I hope you're doing well. This isn't because you showed up, but I need to go pee and this is a long cut scene. So I'll be, I'll be right back. Last 
Hello, I return. Thank you, Lucy. Good luck prepping dinner. We'll be here. Um, Foozles, I hope you're doing well, dude. I hope all is going good. Thank you for the welcome back, Rio. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good to be back. Or should I say pee back? <laughs> I get it. Okay, I understand if you all need to leave now. Aw, oh, dude, right? New Monsty? Very excited. Why? Oh, because bad pun. Oh, I did get it. Oh, wow. Holy crap. I sniped that thing. Ah, he me. Whoops. Oh, why'd you do the one-shot? Um, so the one-shot binder uh, is really weird. The uh, So we have to use the one-shot binder no matter what in this phase. If we don't use it, the NPCs use it, and it lasts a really long time. Then for some reason, too, the further Zora Madros is from the barrier, the shorter the duration the one-shot binder is. Uh, so if we shoot it really early like that, it doesn't last very long. Uh, but it has to be shot no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a, it's just a, uh, to speed up this stuff, right? Um, small optimizations to make Zora progress through here faster. Oh, hell yeah, Foozles. I'm going to be uh, starting up 3U soon. I think I'm going to start up 3U on the new year. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, Reese. I, I love talking about this game. So, like, if you ever have questions, feel free to ask them. Like, I want to talk about it. <laughs> Oops. Is that really quick? Uh, put that away, put that away, put that away. We grab those. Uh, we're going to make our spot there. Uh, oh, yeah, and then I get to... Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Whoops, and then one more. Uh, we want to do that. We're going to put those right there. Or actually, I'll put it like that. And then sell. I don't need to do this. Yeah, because we don't need anything out of here anymore. Uh, and as long as I sold everything else, like we're fine. 
Um, the only other thing that I need to do is put one of these over there. Uh, uh, craft that. I just remembered too. The thing that this goes in my inventory, this goes here. Yeah, and then I still need to craft that other one. Which I guess I could just do that in there now. Just craft two of them. Are you playing three? Uh, oh, wait, I just bought three as well. Hell yeah. So, uh, the fire it. Uh, that after Donk and a few more monsters in four. Are you playing it on the 3DS or on the Wii U? I'm going to be borrowing a friend's Wii U so I can play it there. Uh, Tiago? Probably. Tiago, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. Yeah, Oni convinced me to play it on the Wii U. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Brim! Thank you for getting us up to Foozles. Boozles kicking the screen. Welcome back into this place. You're now part of the bagel shop. I hope you enjoy those cats. Uh, yeah, all that is right. What are we hunting today? This is a full game speed run. Uh, I started a new file 49 minutes ago, and we are speed running from a brand new character all the way to Zeno Jiva. Could not play Monster Hunter without keyboard and mouse. Much we're playing previous games today. Aw. Oh. 25 minutes for a solo G rank again? Aw, oh, dude, it's okay. Now, just do it in 24 minutes. It's all about progression. Oh, I've been playing on 3DS? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I've been unplugged for a while. Good to be back on Twitch first? Yeah, but you know, I mean, like, that, like stuff happens, right? Like, and you were talking about it, too, before you kind of went on your little, uh, your, your hiatus. Like, you know, like, uh, life, life happens. And so you just got to, like... Sit back, reprioritize, do what you got to do, and then we can get back to the things that we love sometimes. You know? Like, I've been I've been fortunate enough that I've been able to just to, like, continue to do this for as long as I have. I wonder if you could emulate... Um, like if you emulate uh, Monster Hunter games, so you can play with keyboard and mouse that way. Should be able to, right? I don't know if anyone's like actually tried. Oh yeah, Foozles, always. What else am I gonna do? <laughs> play other games? I did play Armored Core for a while. Hmm. You can, okay. I mean, I don't play with keyboard and mouse, but for the people that do, this guy sends AVB. You can, but it'll uh, work awful. That's how Monster Hunter worked on PC before hey. patch. You think so? So there's um, there's a tool that I use for Armored Core 6 um, to use uh, the uh, dual flight stick setup, where all you're doing is remapping your controller to other controls. You should be able to do that. Um, like with a with an emulated Monster Hunter game too, and like the emulators too have uh, um, controller mapping in them. I don't know. I feel like you should be able to do it. I've been wrong before though. Like it should feel just as fine because about the only thing that you're losing is your um your stick axes. You're going from like you know full circle to eight point. 0% host this one actually soon. So uh, to give you an update on that, right? We did the uh, charity stream, the um, the, the 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 ho Halloween charity stream for Gamers Outreach, um, the Spooktacular. 
Uh, yeah, no worries, Foozles. We'll be here. So we did the we did that charity stream, right? And you guys did unlock uh, Zora 1 and Zora 2 with Hosis. If I'm going to go through all that, lose a joke, because I follow. If I'm going to go through all that, I want to give you guys the ability to upgrade that still to a Xeno percent. So we're going to actually be setting up... Um, I'm going to be setting up a... Uh, uh, a Tiltify again to continue to donate to Gamers Outreach. So during that stream, if you guys hit the goal, um, I will uh, expand it into a Xeno percent during that run. Uh, but right now, it's a Zora 2 speed run, and if you don't make it, everything's still going to get donated, um, but it'll end at Zora 2. Monster Hunter World, uh, Hodus, uh, Hostess, hands on stick and stick. I, I, I don't have a throttle. I have a, uh, I have a dual stick, a dual stick set. Uh, Exhibition Hostess, H O S A S. Uh, um, Exhibition Hostess, Silencer. Thank you for that follow. And welcome on in. Um, but yeah, I have uh, two VKB uh, flight sticks and a Thrustmaster uh, three pedal, uh, three pedal uh, foot pedal. Can we also extend it further to Shara Percent? No. <laughs> I don't wanna. I might, maybe, maybe as a playthrough, but not as like a one setting speed run. Maybe as a playthrough. I still haven't decided what weapon I wanna use for that yet. Thrust Master. I don't like their throttles or their sticks. I do like their foot pedals though. This one's nice too. It's like metal, so it's got weight to it. Ooh, I love it. I actually really like it. MHW VR soon. Um, didn't didn't Super Rad do that? He did. He played one of the games in VR. Oh, whoops! I went the wrong way. There we go. Rad Rad did that. He played one of the the Monster Hunters in VR. I don't remember which. Being blinded by flashes. Imagine using insect glaive using uh, VR. Just how sick. Yo, illusionist, I'm doing good. Yeah, we're about. We didn't get our full time save off of Anjanath, but we got enough. Um, enough to like just deal with it. Um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep this one going. My splits are messed up, so if I lose if I like lose a minute at some point, I'm, I am just gonna reset to fix my splits too. Um, but I'm not, like, trying to throw, right? Smile. <laughs> um, but I do feel good. Uh, Zora, we saved the 5.6 on, but that's kind of RNG time save, uh, which feels good. I mean, like, we got it, so. I wouldn't even say it's RNG. I would just say, like, I made a small error last time, and now I'm, like, getting it back. Uh, we still saved the 17 seconds on Anjanath, which is, like, it's fine, like I said, but there was 30 more seconds that we could have gotten there. I still don't understand how I got the headbreak as early as I did. What I should have done was Clutch Clawed back on and ZSD during the headbreak. Um, and then done the, uh, Gilly and Rock Drop. I just, I, I kind of lost count. I wasn't sure if I was, uh, on the right cadence or not. And so, like, that early head break kind of messed me up. 
But it's okay. I mean, we, we just roll with the punches at this point. Sin, good morning. How are you? Dude, they did the Coral Highlands dirty. Our, like, introduction during uh, to it was that last cutscene. Um, which is, like, only okay. And then, you know, we just get thrown into it like this. And, like, this is, like, when you really get to explore it. Uh, and they could have they showed it off so much better. Stuff like a rock? Hell yeah. Yeah, no, sometimes you need those days. Like, that was me yesterday. Well, mostly because I was not well. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think so too, Illusionist. It's like like my favorite area aesthetically. Fight wise, it sucks. <laughs> there's not there's not a good area to fight in here. But uh aesthetics wise, it's great. I just don't like the entire, like, sloped area. Like, sloped areas uh, are just not fun. And the fact that ZT Yaku exists. Like, those, those are my problems with the, with the Coral Highlands. felt very foreign. I didn't like that. I still did it like well, but it felt really foreign. <laughs> I filled the uh, the like high rank room with crakes and the master rank room with Suchinoko. <laughs> Move, lizards. I love the Suchinoko so much. this 
gonna be a short a little damage here. Not good. Oh, thank goodness. A little sloppy. Make that now, too. Head card by a Volvid on mode sharpening. Oh, no. Tragic. It's my favorite aspect of it. Um, The... Uh, Probably just, like, the lack of, like, armor optimization. Playing with, like, minimal resources just always feels fun to me. And, like, having to, like, adapt and, and learn more about the game to make that efficient, right? Uh, plus, it's, like, long, right? I like doing long speed runs. I do not know how to say your name, but thank you for the follow. Nice gold. I did not mean to put that on then. Hundred percent RNG gold split too. That was just good blast procs. I had zero control over that. I also need to grab the extra um spider web here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, Legiana. Yo, Ryan, how are you? Oh, gosh, how are you doing? Got a coffee burp. I think I messed up. I messed up. We'll see. Uh, 
Oh yeah, maybe I'm not supposed to craft. Right. I don't remember. We'll see here. Yeah, still on the grind. Listen, Legiana is fine. A shrieking Legiana hurts, but this this script is also just like really hard to do. Like it's hard to do cleanly. It's very consistent, but like can just be messed up by the simplest of things. Uh, yes, the yellow time means it's a best split. That means it's the best I've ever done on that split before. Don't craft those. Uh, somebody look for the time here. Because I'm going to skip through this quickly. 250. Okay, never mind. And no extra flashes on Lumu or Legiana. I feel like I messed up something, though. I thought I had to restock the pitfall there, but... I think I have everything I need? I don't know. We'll, we'll see here. Yeah, no, I think I messed up. I'm going to have to go into the house and restock. So I'm going to be short after this one. I'm not going to have the shock trap. So I'm going to be short for um, Rathalos. So I'll just have to go into the house here. Yeah, because I shouldn't have um, crafted the uh, the pitfall uh, before Radovan. It's not that it's bad, it's just I'm gonna lose time. Um, but I wanna try to salvage the run, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm not quite uh, used to all the nuances of it. Uh, of the new routing. So it's just a, a, a small error.
Yeah, because I can't craft this shock trap here. Um, that's because I needed to restock the pitfall instead of making the pitfall. Uh, so that was that was my mistake. But we can fix that really quick just by going into the house here. Um, and then I can restock two traps and then just craft before we uh, go into the expedition. That's fine. It's going to lose a little time, uh, but actually like knowing that that's the backup for this is really, really helpful. Uh, yeah, we use the monster in a language because it's faster. Uh, but text-wise, um, any language works. All right, so we are, we're good now, yeah. Yeah, because I should have three right there. Yep, okay. I know what I messed up on now. Uh, don't pay attention to that. We'll know what we saved after we do the Rathalos quest. At most, this saves 40 seconds.
So we don't really pay attention to red numbers here. Yeah, multiplayer runs are weird because you have to progress together, which, like, makes sense. But you have to do it separately because you have to watch... Excuse me, you have to watch the cutscene alone, but then join the other person's hunt because that's faster. So, like... You have to, like, have really good coordination, and then ultimately it's just kind of a meme because, um... Uh, you more or less end up just hunting the monster solo, and then your teammate shows up, and then you hunt it together. The glass proc. Why am I still ahead two and a half minutes? Maria's late like for that 110 biddies. I'm very confused. I thought this only saved 40 seconds. Am I just that bad at the game? I don't want to PB on this. My splits are messed up. Though I can just rename the splits and uh, delete the, the PBs on them, and then that'll fix it. This is kind of uh, insane. <laughs> You'll PB it and like it, nerd. No! I don't want to. <clears throat> Welcome back with breakfast. Did you bring me any? goodness a subscriber in question no wait <laughs> carrie hope you're having a good sunday thank you for the three months of subscribing oh gingerbread latte that is drinkable that sounds really good 
I've just got my basic ass coffee with a little bit of sugar and half and half, but it's uh, one of the Madrinus flavored blends. It's very, very good. But I really, I wanted to make myself a latte this morning. Just decided against it. A lot of work. That didn't explode. One. Yeah, fair enough. Listen, if somebody else is going on a coffee run, we take a coffee. <laughs> That's like the one thing that I don't like where I live is that like we don't have good just like coffee joints. We have one now, which is nice, but we don't just have like a good generic coffee place. Uh, we, we have one, but it's just like, it's really, it's not close. I have to drive to it. And some mornings I don't like driving. Uh, but, like, any time that I visit somewhere, if I'm getting an Airbnb, I'm always checking to make sure there's, like, a good coffee place nearby. Like, when I uh, visited Tulsa a few years ago for a wedding, um, we, like, got an Airbnb where there was, like, a coffee place across the street. Oh, that sounds so nice. Out. Dude, I don't know what it is about California. It's just got to be like... The ambiance, right? But anytime I get coffee in California, I'm like, why does it taste so much better? Gotta be all the liberal ideals. The greater taxes make the coffee take, uh, taste better. <laughs> Ain't my taxes. Have you had coffee? It's like, okay. Coffee is our generation's nicotine. Let's just be realistic, right? It should not be legal in stores. You shouldn't be able to go anywhere to buy it, but you can. And now Panera is selling one so strong it'll kill you. And all the millennials are like, bet. <laughs> You mean to tell me there's a beverage so caffeinated it will stop my heart? Say less. Say fucking less. Caffeine is absolutely the new the new nicotine. <laughs> Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and also brim they have free refills if you buy it they're like and you can get more <laughs> mas <laughs>
Yeah, I bet you that person that died from it was also culture shocked. Anyways, Abominable Willy, thank you for that two months of Prime. Use that anywhere you chose to use that here, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh oh. <laughs> do not put alcohol in the supercharged lemonade from Panera. Your body won't know what to do. <laughs> Man, leave it up leave it up to, to the millennials to be like, you know what would make this beverage that stops your heart better? Another controlled substance. You want to stop your heart and your liver? All right, Zora, like, thank you. <laughs> We're testing the limits, true. at murder soda. Murder soda is pretty good. But there's a reason why, like, nowhere's selling Four Loco anymore. There was also a reason why I never would drink a Four Loco. Four, four Locos is an absurd amount of Locos for one drink. I'm just saying. <laughs> Millennials know a deal when they see it. Truth. Managed to avoid same carry. I never had one. It's just one of those things that I would. It was like a. It was like a cryptid, right? It's like you hear about it and you're just like, uh, you'd never want to experience it. But you just always hear the stories. You were curious? No, I was terrified. It's like no, thank you. Hey, thank you so much for the 15 months of Prime. You could use that anywhere, and you choose to use that here, and I really do appreciate that, so thank you. I hope you're you're doing well. Uh, I believe you're also doing family nonsense with the family during family time. I hope that's going well. No, they, they, they multiply, Kayo. This is exponential. <laughs> if you're having any more than one can of Four Loco, you need to seek medical professional help. And I'm not saying, like, a physician. I'm saying a therapist. Green is here, yes, yeah. Hi, Green. I don't know if you meant like he is there right now, but are the locos in the room with us right now? I'm telling you, dude, four loco, Japanese cryptid in my brain. It's like one of those things that I never had and didn't really want to touch. Green, why did I save two and a half minutes doing expedition lo Or why did I save a, a minute and a lot doing expedition loss? I went from 40 seconds to 230. I don't understand. 
I thought it was only a 40 second time save. Please, Zora, please. My Magdaros in Christ. One, Sag. No gem, don't need it. We don't need that gem where we're going. <laughs> oh, it's a one minute uh, net time save. Okay. And I had to do the... Um, I had to do the room back up because I accidentally I crafted the um the pitfall before Radabon and so I had to do the backup in the in the house even Oh, 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 I see, I see. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So, yeah, big, big, thicko time saves. I also never did the thing that you told me to do, which was fix my splits. Smile. Even though you reminded me three times. Orochi, thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome to the bagel shop. I hope you enjoy those cats. Absolutely a dirt moment, though. Damn it. I always forget. Did I get it? Cool, I did. Very spooky. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm throwing. Lark, thank you for that. For that follow. What am I doing? There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm throwing. Like, actually actively throwing the video game. What do I think about the Wilds tra uh, trailer? Very, very excited. What Bo doing? Only one way to find out. Pattern three. Thinky. Hello, pick it up. Ooh, 
Ooh, cat scammed. Big old scammed. That's what you get for Oni's curiosity. I'm sorry. More like bow boozled. Got him. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve. Can I make 2025 come faster? I'll do my best. 13. I can do my best. <laughs> Forever MHW, thank you for that follow. And also same. Uh, no promises though, Salty. Oh, whoops. Twenty twenty four monster in the world away. That's me. That's me right now. I like twenty twenty four is gonna be me still playing this game. Uh no, I really don't care. I will still just call it MH Wilds. No. Not slow tracks. Arkster, thank you for the lurk. Yeah, twenty twenty four. Listen, the uh, Capcom is releasing uh, wilds in 2024, so all the hunters have time to play um, Dragon's Dogma 2. Because if they didn't do that, I literally wouldn't play it. Yeah, let's call it wilds. Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25. Yeah, exactly. There's some backlog still. <clears throat> 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I hit circle. You want Tonfa's added? I think it'd be cool. A lot of people are speculating that this is the one they're going to add another uh, weapon, like a new weapon to. Nane, thank you so much for the 30 months. Oh my gosh. 30 of them. How do you guys even? That's so long. Y'all put up with me for 30 months? What's that like?
I didn't think that would mess it up, but it did. I got the early head break because of it. So I'll have to know that for next time. I guess I can just do a full finisher. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it was fine. Like, all that was fine, but... And I have exactly one flash left for Pinky in. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the uh, the Bird Mountain in Wilds. Sorry, I'm like a lot distracted by this right now. Whoa. I should be more distracted. I'm doing like the worst movement right now. Don't mind me. I'm nervous because I'm two minutes ahead. It worked! I didn't think it did! I was so pissed! Oh my gosh. Alright, I don't get uh, the flinch. Oh, I also have another flash. When did that happen? I hate it here, I hate it here, I hate it here, I hate it here, I hate it here so much. I'm gonna lose so much time because of this dumb thing, because I missed one freaking clagger, and I can't get it back because all she wants to do is just run around infinitely. I hate it so much, dude. I hate this fight so much! So I lose a minute! Ah. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I think I just, I, I, I miss, don't get the clagger. Just don't get the clagger. Every single time, RNG, just don't get the clagger and I lose a minute. Every single time, man. It's so stupid. This fight sucks so much. This fight's awful. It's so bad. Nice guy. Just so unfortunate. Oh, just lose a minute because the game's bad. 
You missed a blast, Brock. Tee hee. Fucking dumb. Dumb. Fabrice, thank you for them. 390 biddies. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be doing runs today. I'm going to be doing a bunch of runs today. I'm just, I'm sitting here and I'm playing Monster Hunter World today. That's my goal. Nah, me venting helps the most. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I get the bad pattern? Oh, no, I didn't. I just, I, oh, I didn't even see that one over there. I hate it here. I didn't even see that. All right, well, this one's tolerable, I guess. Please thank you for that hydrate. Keeping me caffeinated. Dude, this pattern loses so much time, too. I don't even know how to do this quickly. Because now I have to go back up. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Annoying. Like, literally the worst possible RNG there. Sick. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, DBs are great. Eighteen. Just a very fun weapon. Oh, hello, Goose. Nineteen, twenty.
Pattern two. I don't think I save any time here. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Hello? 16, 17. Eighteen. Nineteen. Oh man, I just feel bad about that Rathian. I should have practiced that. We'll practice. We'll probably practice that in between runs here. It just sucks because like I literally just missed the clagger coming out of the pitfall or out of the flash, and then like, uh oh, and the one out of the pitfall too. So you just lose an insane amount of time. I don't know. I know how to do it. It's just like. Recovering from it with switch axe is very difficult. Because like switch axe doesn't have fast attacks, so you have to have an opening. So if she's just running the entire time, it's kind of frustrating if she's just like running the entire time. So you just like can't find that opening to actually hit the head and of course like the switch axe clipping into literally everything but the head i need to find like a better way to to do that because i don't want to use the sword mode because i'm trying to build up sword mode in the pitfall and then afterwards i was literally just getting insanely unlucky Maybe I should start grabbing that god bug there. No, I can just grab the one. Yeah, I don't need it. I can just grab the one after um, Ushala. That's fine. We're still a minute up. So we're still on PB pace. It just feels bad losing all that time to Rathian. And then we still have 30 seconds on um, low rank Anjanath to save. Everything else has been very good.
Looks like we're about to finish uh, on average. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, fish is just like around. It's like a minute or two from right here. Uh, you know what? I don't really know. He's just different. So, we fight him. He's also a fish, so like, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, save a little time here. Screw the firefish. Your words have never been spoken. Alright, break, so I have to break the leg. Deja vu. Thank you, panic dive. miss the fucking head. One, two, 
three. Yeah, it's to time out the finisher, so the finisher happens at the end of the, um, the head flail. Not great, but, you know, we take it. Still up a minute and a half. Yeah, I just have one right here, so I need one more after this. Yep, all right, cool. I just keep missing my, my PR finisher when I'm going for the leg break. It's just, like, a me problem. The only reason I keep losing time to Nergi is just because, like, I'm not... I keep... I just keep missing it. Which sucks. No, it's not, it's not that, um, when, so there's a nuance to Nergigante's, uh, script, uh, it has to do with the opener, the wall bang opener, um, if the head doesn't, or if the, if the horn breaks during the, uh, the opener, um, we have to break Nergi's leg so we get spikes back so we can keep the lock, um, so to break the leg, you have to hit the leg during your PR, but still land the finisher on the head to keep your lock going. Um, but because I keep missing that, uh, I just keep losing a bunch of time trying to, like, get that back. And then, like, even there, I got the head break during other um, animations that just stopped it from happening. It's very nuanced, um, and it's hard to kind of, like, see... But because of that, I, I literally lost like 20 seconds. Wait, is he behind me? Oh, no. No, you spy nothing. Sorry. <laughs> I think he's upstairs. Welcome back, Brian. Missed you. You're right, Oni, you're right. It's me. But you took the camera off of me, so that's a little sus.
There we go. Ten seconds. It's okay. Uh, elusive, elusive crow. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. Thank you for that. Good luck, lesser. Yeah, it's just knowing like how to alternate between the the control here, right? Which it, it's it's easy to do once you like understand the timing and the fighting and stuff like that. Um, like I legitimately think anyone can do this. How's he dealing so much damage? Defender. Defender weapon go burr. I'm out of coffee. Yeah, 308. Still good, but like sub 3 is the goal. 250, 240x. Absolutely, Foozles. A lot, a lot of practice. Um, Green, Moss, and I have been, like, looking at IL runs for years and trying to see, like, what we can take from there and apply here. And so, like, Green and Moss came up with a lot of the speedrun strategy that we use now. Um, so, like, I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to be out here, like, taking credit for that stuff because, like, I have done very little as far as, like, scripting with SNS goes. I've, I've come up with some scripts for, um, for, uh, what's it called? Um, switch axe, but, but not for SNS. So, like, a lot of the SNS scripting, like, came from, from Green and Moss. But it's all, like, it is all trial and error. Like, we have to kind of, like, see what our setup is capable of doing and then, like, learn how to do it, right? That was idiotic of me. Three. Uh oh. Flagger, good. Good.
Oh, that was really good. That was really good. The only way that was faster was if my sharpness didn't uh, go down when it did. That's the only way that was faster. So that's really just like an RNG positioning thing from uh, from Val. Because he just got close to the uh, to the Gyros, I, I lose a bunch of sharpness there. That was really good. A bunch of screws. It's just a big shotgun. That's all it is. Um, and yeah, I grabbed the uh, the god bug already, so I don't need to get the extra one here. Yeah, sub five feels good. It's not really more appealing, though, that's true. Uh, most ideal. It's also the one that I'm kind of, like, best with right now. SNS is just, like, very fast. I use a combination of SNS and Switch Axe. Just because Switch Axe is a lot easier from some uh, some of the other fights, but SNS is just very good. Oh my gosh, I buffered that. I accidentally tapped it again. Uh, I should be really close to this, though, because I got a blast proc. Yep, there we go. All right, we're fine. Oh, I 100% overwrote this. How did I not overwrite that? I hit literally everything. No, that was possible. Like, his positioning here was awful. Oh my god, thank you. Still the ground, oh my god, help! I'm losing so much time because he's stuck right here. Because I'm doing half as much damage. I'm going to lose so much time just because of this positioning. There's really not much I can do about that other than just like 
keeping the lock. Nah, I mean, he wasn't safe from that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, the claw uppercut attack, like specifically this, is a half tenderize, right? Um, so uh, three hits with a claw too while you're like clutch clawed onto a monster is also a half tenderize. So what you can do is like we get half of it by uh, triple hitting while it's on the ground, like while it's flashed. So we hit it twice, and then hit it one more time. So uh, we reposition it towards the wall. Um, and then we uh, claw uppercut after the wall bang just to help time out the uh, the PR2. I think I don't have another Mega Nutrient. No, I don't. That's okay, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to grab that God Bug on um, Val. It just feels slow. Dude, his head being stuck in that wall. I mean, like, it's okay. We are we are golden right now. Now we just need to have, like, a good um, a good Xeno. And this is going to be actually a really good run to compare against. Other than the minute time loss on Pinkian. This will be a really good uh, run to compare against. Okay, good, still got it. No, not close enough. Now he is, though. I was gonna hit one of these. Good. Don't stand, thank you.
Red. Good. Yellow, go slow. Red. That was good. That was so good. Yeah, 456, that was so good. All right, all right, all right. So now we just save a minute to Pink Rathian, and then we have a 227. And we just clean up a lot of the stuff in between, and then we get a 226. Getting there. Getting there. That PB feels good. That that PB feels good. And that's almost entirely from Expedition Los too, right? Like, a minute's from Expedition Los, and then just doing everything else right, like... That feels good. Yo! My gosh. Febreze? The five gifted. If you got gifted a sub from Febreze, make sure you thank them. All right. I can chill about, like, not PBing. That feels good. Love a good peeb. Yeah, we love. We love a good peeb. Oh, no, that's part of the fun for me, uh, Olim. I like long speed runs. Um, but think about it this way, too. When this game first came out, this run was four to five hours long. And, like, you could just lose a run two and a half hours in because you just didn't get good RNG. Now, this is fun because you can consistently hit sub 230. Like, consistently hit sub-230. Uh, that feels good, though. That's a good PB. So I have to go in and fix my splits, though. I have to reset my golds for um, Diablos and Rathalos, and then uh, flip those. Come back for breakfast and you PBing? I know, right? Now we just do it again. Now we get the 227.